Welcome to the Minecraft Podcast, episode 117. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Minecraft Podcast. This episode of the Minecraft Podcast is brought to you by Audible. Thanks to Audible.com for supporting the show. For your free audiobook of your choice, go to audiblepodcast.com slash mindcrack. It's a free audiobook. Woo-hoo. This week on the podcast, we have CoStar. Hello. We have Badge. Hello. We have Good. Hi. And special guest, Nebres. I'm special. Woo. Can't see waving. Co is in the wrong spot because Badge turned off his video. So I'm gonna just oh. like rearrange this just on the floor. You're doing it live? Yeah, for the video people, you're, gonna, live. you're getting to see yeah. stuff you ain't never seen before. Behind the scenes. Behind the, the panels. There we go. Fixed. That's much better. Um so what's up, Nebs? Not too much. You've been, yeah. playing Minecraft. You've been playing I've Minecraft. I've been playing Minecraft. I've actually been sick for the last week. That's kind of a story in, a, in and of itself, but it's it's personal, so I, I won't share it. <laughs> <laughs> How do people tell that you're sick? Because your voice is already so raspy. <clears throat> yeah, it, it it goes in and out. Like sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. It just and goes it's plaid. Mostly, Have you ever heard his original small. video before his voice? Yeah, broke? it's oh like, hey God. everybody, <laughs> Nevers. <laughs> It's so weird that your voice broke at some point and like it puts it's like gives me fear. Like every time like I go to a city or something, I become Nebris voiced and what if I never go back? Like, that way. Yeah. yeah, well that's what happened to him. It it really did. Maybe I just hit late puberty or something. I don't know. It's so weird. Like if you watch, oh, if, if you ever heard his original video of Co, he sounds like nah. a normal person. And now he sounds like this. Oh. Did, have you, is there a story? I don't know if there's a story on how that changed. Is, is that personal? Is that personal? Is that well, I mean, I don't. I, I've never really thought of it as like a health issue, but I guess my voice just changed when I got sick one day, and then wow, it never it never went back. And sometimes it's different did depending not, on how I'm feeling. I don't know. Did you never speak to anybody about it? No, I don't. I didn't go to a voice doctor. Well, it's a doctor, really. Well, I mean, he spoke, you know, so people could hear. He spoke to somebody. Yeah, I mean, he I had spoke, a functional voice. He's spoken to a lot of people. He's his YouTube channel. I, I have a functional voice. If that ever goes away, I might see a doctor about it. Yeah, I had a, I had a friend named Justin who kind of did the same thing, but he did it through cigars. Because he was like... <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, he's he was like, but the funny thing is, he's like, I, I freaking love my voice now. Like, I'm so glad. He was like, he's like, <laughs> it's like body modification it's for so me. Strange. Like, I'm happy. <laughs> um, so yeah, yeah, uh, interesting. It makes me wonder, like, what if you could change a part of part of you? Would you guys do it? Well, you changed your hair. Yeah. Oh. But I guess I guess yeah. I'm thinking permanently. So like you dyed the sides of your head brown, like to how it worked. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I was tired of the full red, so I went a little brown on the sides. That's how it. Right? <laughs> right. Natural redhead. Um. Yeah. Okay. No one would change anything about. <laughs> no. I mean, I'd give myself those uh, super eyes that always work and like. <laughs> I mean, wait. Night vision. No, n- Just no, no glasses. There's, there's, a, there's a new like. Uh, what? Eye implant or something that's supposed to give you like better than twenty twenty vision. I, I don't know about it. Wow, that's, that's some guy that he. There's some doctor claims he's made an implant that hasn't been tested at all on anything. It's just some guy <laughs> said I can do this thing, and then everyone reported on it, and that's what Nevers was talking about. Oh, oh. well, I'm a sucker for that. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, there's not any proof that his his implant that is on paper actually does anything that works. I mean, as long as it has like a laser pointer in it, <laughs> <laughs> it'd be nice to fix the things that broke. I mean, that'd be quite quite good. Like, right. See, yeah. I'm, I guess I was thinking more like, you know, changing your voice from from like normal to slightly raspy isn't that big of a modification. And so, if you were you were ha- like that, that was the cards that you were handed to choose from: is raspy voice, 
your hair turns gray. You know, I don't know. You can do I'll a weird thing with your head. thumb, like, <laughs> like. Well, you can do anything once, with your thumb? Is that do a weird you're thing? Doing? I don't know. I, I didn't, wasn't specific on that one. Well, so once that technology gets like to the point where it's pretty easy to change pretty much anything about you, I think we're gonna lose a lot of variety in the way people look. Like everyone's gonna go for chiseled jaws, um, big muscular bodies, except for maybe the ladies, or maybe be so bad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't and, think everyone would do that either, though, because I mean, you have people that com- com- like their whole thing is going against the norm too. So you're going to have, yeah, but those are hipsters. They can have their mustache. <laughs> Did you hear about, so I saw this uh, billboard in um, LA uh, and I don't, I don't know. I just literally, I'm, I'm saying that because I literally just saw a billboard and that was it. <laughs> um, it's this thing called Mira dry. And apparently it is a way. So you just never sweat. Sweat stops here. Oh fuck! I want that. What? Do you, what? How do I get that? <laughs> it's, it's Mira here. I'll send you the link. MiraDry.com. <laughs> you just like, like your body in like silicone, basically. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I really don't know. It, it's like it's, so looks, glad. it's probably going to be one of those um, like laser treatments where they go in and laser burn all of your sweat glands or something. Oh, what could go wrong? It's Pers- here. Let's, let's look at stop how it works now. You need to sweat though. The whole thing with dogs. It literally looks like there's die. some sort of vacuum that vacuums up. You it need doesn't... to you need to sweat to cool yourself, but if you've got artificial cooling like a fan, then do you need to sweat? Is there a medical need other than a cooling? Oh my god, this is actually pretty simple. Mirror dry system that is uses... a medical need. Well, yeah, but you can also fish. I mean, it does, does it clear you, clean your pores out, and if you don't sweat, will they block up and you die? I mean, that's that's what I'm saying. Is there a secondary function? Oh, shit. It? it just destroys oh. the it glands destroys them. under your arm. The you odor never, gland. you can oh. never sweat again. So it's not out of your whole body. It's just one. Yeah, it's just your it one says arm. once those glands are destroyed, they do not grow back. So that means your treatment is permanent and lasts forever. Yeah, but wow. you sweat all over. You sweat. Right. From Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, you continue to sweat everywhere else. Just not your underarms anymore. Right. So you don't have to wear deodorant anymore is the point. Right, right. It literally looks like there's some sort of uh, vacuum that, like, vacuums up your sweat glands on this website. Yeah, that's just the way they've animated this thing. But, yeah, I imagine it's not. I imagine they don't just stick a vacuum to your underarm and it sucks your (laughs) sweat glands out. You can do it at home. Just stick your vacuum here. Don't do that at home. (laughs) They can dry them up. Yeah, yeah. there you go. You just just dry it. Actually, just walk around with mini vacuums from now on. And you don't need this mirror dry. (laughs) I'm so confused. Oh, wow. So are you going to do it, Good. No, I don't think I'll do this. It doesn't really help if you. I mean, you're the other like mirrored my whole body. But, 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 okay, maybe. When you said you yeah. saw a, uh, a billboard, I was hoping it was this one that I just put in Skype there. Okay. I knew, I knew you were gonna be the yeah, handsome guy. I knew that's what you're gonna link. <laughs> handsome. Look, uh, what I'm thinking. <laughs> Is there races to assume the race of the person that's named something like this? Well, I think it's because it, it's kind of spelled in a sort of Arabic type. No, no, I, I think he's referring Arabic-y. to the fact that big picture of a white baby. Oh, right, yes. But it's probably that picture always. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. Check your privilege, baby. <laughs> 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 He's just like a handsome guy, you know. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, uh, Nevers, you have a story in here about something a little bit scary. Yeah, um, this is a, a couple weeks old. There's a video of some guys on uh, on YouTube. They're they're essentially hacking into a car of of a friend of theirs. Like their friend is driving a car. They've got like the video watching him driving it. And the, the guys are somewhere else in like their house somewhere. The guys on the free, the other guy in the car is on the freeway and the guys in the house are hacking his car. They turn on his air conditioning. They turn on his uh, radio and he can't like control the radio in the car. Like, so at all. 
he can't change. He the can't turn it down. Channel. He can't but change. Worse, they can like stop the car and stuff. They did. That's the they next did. thing they did. Oh, do they, they stop oh, the okay. car? Yeah, I read about. I didn't see the video there. Well, like, my, about, my new Beatles got something similar to this, but apparently it's not as it's not as capable of controlling the vehicle. But it can monitor all this stuff, so I'm sure it's just as insecure as this is. Right, but think about eventually you're going to have uh, power steering. Like you know how some cars have. Uh, built-in anti-slip steering, like oversteering and understeering. Even, even worse, they have uh, automatic parallel park. So oh, that as well. It'll so, just take over the steering wheel. Most modern cars are fly-by-wire anyway. So right. The accelerator is controlled. Well, yeah. I mean, pretty soon they'll be all self-driving. So if you have full control that you can hack it from, I'm sure. Right. You know, it's funny. I'm a little less concerned about self-driving than I am about where the state of the car industry is right now. Because, yeah, because security will be a concern right. once it's at that point. And right. I assume right that software updates yeah. aren't going to be a problem with a self-driving car. But right. in a in a car that you buy off the lot now, how do you up? How, you're going to ship USB keys to everybody. What are you going to do? <laughs> well, no, those 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 are still uh, the way that he's connecting to that car is over the internet. So they yeah. still they actually do do so do do um, software updates. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> like uh, they'll do you like your GPS update and stuff on a regular basis as well. Um, so oh, yeah, he's yeah. already fixed to this actually. Did they did they fix it? Did they do an yeah. over the air update with this? Yeah. Oh, okay, good. Well, that's good. Yeah. Well, this is some scary stuff when you consider oh, yeah, like, so scary. what bad people can do. Like right. they could uh, make push happy. you up to two hundred miles an hour and then make you veer sharp right. Right. That's a great way to kill someone. Right. Yeah. And I'm sure that if you do it, you could pretty much do it. No one's going to do an autopsy on the car unless if there's something, you know, obviously weird about it. But in that well, scenario, you could probably just assassinate someone. And Well, no, you say that. I mean, I, I had a friend who crashed. Uh, he was in the middle of overtaking somebody and the rear brake disc shattered. Uh, and it basically caused the car to flip out. Um, and he... The insurance company said it was his fault, and he had to get uh, a sort of forensic test done on the car right. to prove that it was a failure on the on the hardware. And not, not. I'm just like I'm thinking, thinking like spy movie stuff. stuff. Yeah. So you In can. the case of most accidents, accidents they uh, they do some stuff like you know you've you probably heard about like when there's an accident, the speedometer will get stuck at whatever speed the car was going. Yeah. That kind of stuff. I mean. It seems to me they would check these things. Well, yeah, I mean, especially I'm, if it's a fatality. Yeah, I'm. I'm thinking like spy level, like 007 stuff, where like some ambassadors in a car and they just make the car go really fast and then hit a tree. It's like no one's gonna suspect if it's like late at or, night that the or guy, a tunnel in Paris. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. I think you could. You could, um, you know, try to make it look like an accident, but I also feel that these things are usually pretty traceable, particularly in the case of these cars, because you have to go through, you know, satellite. It's a very specific connection or a very specific series of connections to hack into a car, I would think. I think you can hack into the satellite and the car. Can't you just delete your paper trail or cyber trail? You're probably not hacking the satellite. You're probably just... I'm yeah, just, you're spoofing saying, something. It, right. it's, you're passing through a sort of specific channel, I think, that would be a little bit more obvious than usual, but maybe maybe not. I just don't think it's commonplace. Like, I know if someone has a wreck here in my hometown, they don't have computers. I don't. I, I, I feel like they don't even have computers at the police department. So <laughs> for, for them to do anything beyond, like, calling, like, Farmer Bill to pull his tractor around and pull the car out I of like, the ditch. I like how you're like, it's like two guys have iPhones. That's the police department. <laughs> I don't even think. I think they're still using the flip job phones, you know. Uh, but Star no, attack. I mean, also, this, I don't. I don't think that. I think it really depends on the person that gets the person that gets killed and uh, and so on. I think that you could you could hack a, uh, a car from some not so important person and and wreck them, and there wouldn't be that level of uh, detail that was used in the investigation. But like, if you started killing senators and stuff, then I think that somebody would look into it. I don't know. The thing for me is that there's still stuff that happens on a regular basis that we do look into that you would assume was an accident. Like um, there was that thing with uh, this is car software related as well, where there's some Toyota cars that have really shitty spaghetti software 
And uh, there's been a couple of accidents where the accelerator just gets stuck and they just go uh, until the car crashes. And one woman died uh, because of that. Another one was injured. And they figured that out, that that was a thing that was happening. It didn't happen to thousands of people. It only happened to a handful. I wonder if the first one they've realized it, or if it took a couple for it to... It took quite a few before they actually... Mm -hmm. I mean, like in the case of this Jeep thing, now that everyone knows it's a thing, that I think if people started dying in Jeeps everywhere because they were speeding, then obviously it would be right. lifted, right? So, yeah. I mean, I, I think I wouldn't get away with it for a couple people, but if it became a pandemic, then... I, I haven't looked into that. I, I, I watched that video briefly, but do they... Can they just do it on a passing car, or did they have to connect to the car somehow and actually... They had to connect to the specific car. They have to know, yeah. enough, get to know enough about the vehicle to be able to connect to it, but that's not really that hard. I think you probably just need, like, VIN number and stuff that's publicly displayed on the vehicle. All right, so that's yeah, actually... <laughs> that's why. Someone's checking out your VIN there, number man. right now. <laughs> closet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm glad that this stuff is becoming known because I knew forever that, you know, there's there's ways to hack into old cars and not this not this crazy. But, you know, if if there's some something wrong with the beeper to unlock the car and there's some exploit that you could easily do, no one is going to go update their car software. Nobody is going to do that. And. I think people are now realizing that cars have had computers in them for a long time, and hopefully. So when I plugged my iPhone in on the plane, it asked me if I wanted to trust this computer, and I was like, trust "Oh, so this is it. not just a USB power port." So I said no, and then I plugged my Mac into it, and I said yes, and I listed everything on the network, and I could see everyone's device that was plugged in to the USBs on the plane. And it was wow. just like, I could start like, and everyone that had said, yes, I'll trust this. I could just like open up their phone and like, look at their stuff. It was just like, wide the fuck open. So yeah. I don't know what's going That's on insane. in this USB setup that Delta has in their planes, but it's not secure. Uh, if you say, yes, I trust this. Once you plug your iPhone in, it's just like, you're like, yeah, I trust to get power from this. Yeah. Yeah. They're, yeah. they're all, they're all USB. I don't know about iPhones, but there are USB adapters you can get that you, plug the, the kind of just little short things that that go in between the socket and the wire uh, and it takes out all the, all the data uh, pins data. basically yeah, uh, data pins. yeah so it's just power mm. um, but assuming. still yeah if you if if you don't have that in your backpack and you just yeah. plug in and say yeah i want power i mean basically i think most simple users would think yeah, yeah i trust, I trust this right yeah <laughs> yeah. yeah i was you shocked could... to see it even asked me that i was like oh this there must be this must be more than just power right yeah. Oh, weird. Anyways. Well, the United flights got grounded the other day because of hacking too, right? And like it happened twice in a row where United's back end system was hacked and they had to ground all their flights. It was actually going on whenever we were coming back from London. That's why a bunch of flights were grounded. And like, I don't know. I don't know if you other guys heard, you guys heard about this. I did hear about a guy that said he could um, and then they arrested him. Even though like three actually... guys ended up getting a million miles each from United as a payment for wow. telling them how they exploited the system. That's what it's doing. That's, yeah, that's, wow. that's how you should deal with it. Gray hat hacking. But yeah. Right. But yeah, it grounded all of their flights for like six hours or something. It was crazy. Anyways. I, I don't understand. Like, I don't like I get the feeling that a lot of these companies don't think security is a uh, top priority when it comes to those things it's like oh it's just an entertainment system like whatever definitely and then, and then it's all interconnected and you know you you have a way like this the entertainment system does display where the plane is through gps so it actually kind of does hook in and then bam you're you're you know into the actual other systems i there's a lot of moving parts. Yeah. You know, the thing is, I think a lot of these things are kind of like um, a lot of security stuff is known quantity type of things. So there's just like libraries that are just dropped in and it's supposed to just work. But if you've got, you know, the flight system, the entertainment system, the who the fuck knows what system, and they are using the same resources, they're on the same network or something like that. If one of them has some bug or exploit or oversight, the whole system can be compromised by that. Yeah. And it's, it's, I don't think it's that's, that people don't care about security. It's just that it's really easy to make that kind of mistake. 
Yeah. Just, you guys just like lazy programmers too that don't care as much, you know? Or just programmers who haven't even been informed that that's an issue. It's that right. they, they send this off to get coded by a third party and they don't know that, you know. Probably on the lowest bid. This is going into a plane. Right. right. Right, or it's the lowest bid, and and you know they're not paid. They're not paid to worry about security. Or there's a deadline attached to it, and right. they just have to get this feature out there. And who cares if it's it such has a complicated a giant system? Hole in it. It's such a complicated system. Um, and if you have ever used the entertainment systems in a plane, I mean, you can just imagine that quality <laughs> isn't really a top priority. Um, I have never even seen one. I've only ever been on like those those buses that fly. Never been. <laughs> the Airbuses. Right. Yeah, well, they're called Airbus. Yeah, they are. But, yeah, I've never been on one of the planes that has like internet or any modern sort of anything. Mm-hmm. It's kind of weird. Delta's moving away from putting them in the back of seats now, and they've developed everything around their app. So, like, you can use your iPhone and iPad for all their entertainment stuff, but it's not even built in anymore. Well, like, that's, well, that's great, provided the battery will last the flight. Well, Delta's putting plugins in all their planes now too. Yeah. I'm a Delta fanboy. If you can't you tell, figure that yeah. out. <laughs> I forget which airline it was. They started taking out all the systems and just giving people iPad twos. Oh, really? He's like, oh, yeah, welcome aboard. Here's an iPad. That's no, basically. Of- I mean, not not forever, but yeah, for the yeah, like, yeah, yeah. if you want We'd the really entertainment, appreciate it if you gave this back at the end of the flight. Right. Well, I mean, I think it's a like like process, but you yeah. probably say rent. Right. It's yeah. Well, yeah. I, I don't. There wasn't any charge for it. Oh, really? Um, they come around with a bag at the end, and everybody drops. <laughs> drops yeah, the yeah, drop it in, please, and you're trash. You get it, and it's like in a sterilized, like you know, you tear open. And it's like, ooh, fresh <laughs> iPad. <laughs> Um, but they like, said why, that. Why, it, why do places bring around hot towels? Sorry, go go finish why what you do or saying. don't. Do they? I don't understand it. Like, I don't. What? What am I gonna? I don't. I never know what to do with this towel that you bring it's, me. It's like hot. rubbing yeah, hands. Of a hot towel. Just like just rubbing your hands with a towel, like a, a wet towel, is like se- gets off seventy percent of the like, like dirt on your hands. Okay. It's not as good as washing your hands, but it's it does a great job. This is coming from Mister. I don't like food on my hands as well. Me, right? Yeah. But it's like I just sat, I, I, mean, I just boarded this plane. I've just sat down. You give me a drink or whatever. I've drank my drink, and now you're coming around with this tray of hot towels. Not even not towels, like little little washcloths. And then you get you give it to me, and I have it for like thirty seconds, and you come back and take it away. I don't know. I, I feel like I've already washed my hands when I got in the bathroom. I'm clean. What, what are you supposed to do? Is you're supposed to drop your trousers and, and, yeah. and, and crack clean your ass, right? Yeah, now. I, I didn't give it back to them. Like that sushi place we went to with uh, Aaron and Jordan. That That's the only restaurant I think I've ever been to that came around with hot towels before we ate our meal. It's like, I don't know. I, I guess I just wash my hands so much that I don't I don't I don't understand the hot towel service. Just do whatever you want with it. <laughs> <laughs> it I'm going to start fancy. taking them and putting it in my mouth immediately. Mm hmm. <laughs> Look so at this them. is uh, Yahoo Answers. What do you use the hot towels when <laughs> for when you're on a plane? Best answer: to refresh yourself. You can wipe your face or wipe your hands. Four. I think they okay. offer hot towels only on international flights these days. <laughs> okay, thanks to Yahoo Answers. Now I don't believe you at all. <laughs> what I think it is is it's a fanciness thing. Like people are all they feel like they're all sophisticated and whatnot when they're dabbing themselves with the <laughs> they, they dab towel. themselves with yes. the There's like a whole name for it. Ah Ashiburi. Ashiburi or hot towel in English is a wet hand towel offered to offered to customers. In places such as restaurants or bars in China and Japan, in some Chinese and many Japanese restaurants worldwide. Oh, uh, it's a Japanese thing. Apparently. This looks like... Well, you always get one after a curry. Yeah. <laughs> what, for your ass? For your sweat. <laughs> right. <laughs> you got, you got sweat, a cold man. towel for that. No one knows. It's not. It's, there's not a definite. <laughs> no one knows. Okay. Well, that we, we got who answers is out. probably not the best place if you want answers. To. Yeah. There, there's not like people are just like, eh, it feels good, basically. No. It makes you feel good. I think it's dope. It makes you feel good. It makes you feel fancy. Yeah. Um, so speaking of things that are fancy. Wait, wait, wait. I wanted to. Oh. I wanted to get to. Um, sorry, that was a good thing, but I was saying something before. The hot towels. <laughs> Don't interrupt. This is before I fucked you over with the hot towel. Discussion. Crap. Or are speaking we of, speaking of uh, crap. <laughs> oh, no. God dang it. 
We were okay. talking about cars being hacked. The hell? Yeah, we were right. talking about iPads. Uh, yeah. Oh, we were they said about iPads being hacked. Uh, they said that that uh, the mm-hmm. iPads. I don't know if I said this or not. I'm I'm the worst at um, short term memory. Uh, is that uh, replacing all of the in system uh, stuff in the airplanes and giving people iPads? Lowered the weight of the plane to save millions of dollars. Wow. Like interesting. Millions of dollars. Because if you look at those things, they're huge, they're clunky, yeah. they're heavy, they're hot. And just iPads are so much lighter and um, um, more efficient that it saved the, that airline that switched. Like, That's so like money. So one of those why? little things that you change that saves so much money, like font size on like yeah. a major corporation. Right. What are you going to say, Code? Well, they could put little slats in the backs yeah. of the chairs that slide the iPads in there and then just put like a, one of those plastic lock cases on it instead of yeah. giving everybody the iPads. I think they were also saying that they didn't need to stock 100% of iPads to seat ratio because uh, some people just don't want the entertainment uh, system. Um, yeah, right. And so they, they have, you know, like 70% or whatever. Well, many, many people have yeah. tablets now. So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Some people just say no to stuff too. I'm bad about that. Even when I want something, someone will ask me if I want it, and I'm like, no, no, I'm good. And then after they're gone, I'm like, I really did though. I did. That. <laughs> Why did I say no? Did That's I think it was funny. polite to say no? That they happens were to me all the time. Someone's like, hey, do you want help like carrying this? I'm like, no, no, I got it. Well, if, if my mind that. ever starts going down like this road of inconvenience, I'll just immediately say no. Like I'll be <laughs> like, they offer a headset, and I'm like. Uh, and then I'll think like, oh, but then I have to like, you know, plug it in and figure out where that goes and <laughs> not the movie. And then I have to remember to give it back to them. We're going to charge me money. Uh, you know, fuck it. No, yeah. I don't want one. I'd rather be <laughs> miserable. I'll fly it. Then yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll sit here in silence rather than <laughs> pay five bucks. Yeah. I don't want your fancy headset. Speaking um, of fancy. Oh, right. You know what's fancy? <laughs> Lexus and their new hoverboard. That only works in various <laughs> exact <laughs> scenarios. <laughs> Lexus it, get hacked. it only works on a track. Uh, yeah. Well, no, it's not. It's not quite that exact. But uh, they've made this hoverboard. They've been they've been teasing it for like two months now, and they finally showed it this this last week. And um, it's a uh, it uses superconductors, so you have to have. Uh, <laughs> it has to yeah, be you cool to, to like negative. Like yeah, negative and something. So they took that little to be a space demonstration to on like a little magnet on a ring that's been super cooled, yeah. and blew it up to you can stand on this size. Right, exactly. Yeah, I can't even imagine what this thing costs. And not only that, well, of course, I mean, yeah, obviously, since it's the magnet, it has to be on a specialized course that's made out of metal. Um, yeah. So we're not really yeah, going to have a big metal area and um, the technology to super cool. I mean, I guess anyone can buy liquid nitrogen. You too could have a hoverboard. You do, do, we not, it, right? do we not have but trains not. like this already anyway? Not using already superconductors. Already. Yeah. 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 But they're still magnetic. Yeah. Maglev. The yeah. thing is, is that you can literally say someone made a real hoverboard. Yeah. Not I, mean, I think it, whenever all of us are kids, we have magnets and we see that the opposites don't occur. The, the not the opposites. But the, superconductors are cool because it stays where you put it. it. That's not. Yeah, like that is, that's it's better. not just like like if you were just to put a magnet on another magnet, like it'll go like way up in the air unless you put some weight on it, and then you get it ah, just about exact. But superconductors can like stay right where they are. Right, it's really neat. I think what cool does that have to do with superconducting? Like I thought superconductors were just you know zero resistance electricity. I don't know. <laughs> I'll be honest. I have no clue. But I've seen I've seen like the video of like there's this like circular track and then there's like a, a super cool superconductor on it and the guy can literally just like move it and then like push it around and it stays exactly and he moves it. I mean, yeah, it might, I think, it might I have think some. The thing is, is that when you super cool a superconductor, then it it has magnetic properties that it wouldn't otherwise normally have, ah. which is why it only works when it's super cooled and not all the time. So it seems like you would get on this hoverboard Science. and it would use its, it would lose its functionality pretty quickly as the uh, liquid nitrogen is no longer there to super cool it. That's why this whole thing isn't really viable. 
Yeah. It doesn't we matter. We got a real hoverboard. This isn't a joke. <laughs> and we, and we did it by 2015, just as we predicted. Like, that. Yeah, but that's like saying we had a helicopter in 15th century when D- Da Vinci drew one. He it, drew it. it. He didn't make it. He didn't make a commercial <laughs> out of it. <laughs> we we drew it's hoverboards. It's exactly a physically working thing. I mean, it really is it's, hovering. It really it, is a board. It's it just is. not exactly what Marty right. McFly was fucking flying around exactly. on. And nobody can actually use one for any practical purpose. Except for making a cool commercial for Lexus. I'm not it's sure. Pretty... I mean, you're really fighting against your eyeballs here. I mean, you can see them skating around on it. What's what 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 more practical thing exactly would you expect that to do? In a very, very <laughs> grocery, <laughs> groceries on your hoverboard. <laughs> yes, he needs to go. Or, or it's hoverboard. because they weren't being chased around by a bunch of like gang guys. <laughs> yeah, he didn't dump any poo on them. Like it's not real until then. <laughs> I also like I how they notice. go through water, like giving the impression that it will yeah, work on top water. of water, but really the track is just the it's same just distance away. <laughs> Yeah, I, I did notice whenever it towards the end it jumps it jumps over a, a, a car. A cut. Yeah. Uh, well, the the hoverboard lands on the other end and he falls off because it actually doesn't it it hits the ground whenever right. he gets over. Yeah. Yeah. So then he falls. But yeah. anyways, hoverboards. It's just it's like I know like it's <laughs> it's so limited it's so stupid you have to have liquid nitrogen and like a phd to like understand this thing. so Severus could have one. yeah Severus could 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 hoverboard on this thing but no cg real hoverboard there is air in between the ground and the hoverboard and it's not like super weird to use it's not like you're i don't know it's it's not like uh you have to get the magnets just right. Like it's really. Well, it actually looks like, from from what I'm seeing, it's really kind of centered, and it seems like that's a lot of the problem with it. Just watching them fuck up, like when it tilts, it's going to touch the ground on either right. side. Yeah. yeah, I think that's what happens. It, it hits the ground yeah. sometimes. That's when they fuck up. Is it ever? But not the in ground. the middle though. Yeah, it, it tilts over and then it touches the ground. Yeah. So why isn't it even? Why isn't it yeah. evenly hovering? Like, I don't know. Probably magnet magnet placement or something. I don't know. Who knows? Magnet problems. Right yeah, now. there's some, you know, <laughs> magnets. How the fuck do they work? As ICP would say. <laughs> um, because otherwise, his weight is on it when he's like riding around the ball. And you would think that, well, you can see it skipping on the ground. I don't know. It's weird. It's able to hold him up. But I think the wobbliness of it is what causes it to wreck. I also yeah. can't imagine, like, they got this pro skater. I can't imagine learning how to skate with friction and, like, all this stuff. And then you get on it's this true. thing. It's that, probably way different. It's so different. It's probably <laughs> all he's doing friction. is balancing. That's the thing you yeah, do. You have reduced friction. You have no friction, not, basically. No, you're not in outer space. Well, okay, air, air <laughs> friction. Air, yeah, air. That's pretty significant. Uh-huh. I mean, that's why it stops moving. When they let it go, yeah. it had no friction. It would just go, and then you'd wave by. <laughs> it's gone. You'd hope something to bump it, bump it with equal and opposite force, <laughs> like, like falling off a ski on the top of a mountain. <laughs> right? Yeah, just gone. Oh, uh, okay. It's cool I, though. Yeah, it's it's neat. It's neat. I mean, what else is there now? I mean, we live in the future, right? We oh, still my card is not uh, did you miss the whole like laser pointer eye conversation? Okay. Oh, what did uh, Japan do recently with a big ass laser? I didn't actually read about that. I just saw the headline, and then I forgot to read it later. Oh, <laughs> Google. Yeah, they, Japan, I think they fired one. the the hottest laser. Are we all gonna die? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Eventually, <laughs> yeah. No, that's true. They do seem to be doing a lot of laser stuff, though. Like they did the um, the holograms that you can touch. I, think oh, I didn't t- see that either. Yeah, no. we talked about that last week. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. Didn't you weren't freaking. I, my power was out. My generator was broke too. Apparently, my battery actually exploded in my generator. Oh, like really? it got me, and like uh, the water had run out of the battery while we were in London, and I guess it got too hot. It like blew up, but it was in like a casing, so it didn't like damage anything important. But yeah. Anyways, are you gonna die? No. Hand big well, laser when you Google it does not. 
Japan's big laser. <laughs> budget, Japan's big laser, Google. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Uh, news. Google News. Let's oh, do it. Maybe their laser hit your battery. Mm. We have an international uh, scenario going down right now on the podcast. Uh, yeah. July, it was on July 28th. Japan University sets world record an insane two quadrillion watt laser burst. It was this, it's, it's like three times the amount of all power on the earth or something stupid that doesn't make any sense. What? What? Yeah. It, it only lasted one peak a second. That's <laughs> one. Fuck, I mean, there's so many zeros here. Did one, it one destroy something? I want that. So while uh, the output was incredibly large, the actual amount of energy, uh, power, energy divided by time it used wasn't all that big. Yeah. Sorry, my neighbors. Are... It, re- it produced enough power to run a microwave for about two seconds. <laughs> well, I have that technology uh, right <laughs> there. <laughs> all day long. I have 30 seconds at a time. Even. Yeah, man. I can pop popcorn. <laughs> and it's like uh, two minutes. Uh, <laughs> can you pop it with a laser, though? Do you just take one of those laser pointers and aim it at a popcorn kernel for like a year? Like, what did oh, they man. aim it at? Like, they had to have done something really cool with it, right? I don't know. This is not telling me anything. I'm on just aim it cool at a wall. Pop a black balloon. <laughs> yeah. That's I wonder the- if there's like an alien starship that's cloaked around the Earth, just monitoring for these laser blasts. It's like, oh my god, the, the humans finally have this technology. We it's must like invade now. As bad as a weapon of mass destruction, they're like, crap. They're figuring out the laser stuff. We're gonna have to extinct them soon. <laughs> Extincting yeah, yeah, is a for, were there aliens mentioned in the article or something, or what? <laughs> no, this is just a paranoid. What is just my imagination? <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going to ask what the point of this is, and it says outside of research, probably none. I'm reading comments now, so don't don't take this as like scientific. As good as Google answers, right? You, you, sorry, Yahoo answers. Um, there's multiple answers. One of them is laser machine guns. I think that's let's let's that's let's, that's, that's, that's the top answer. I mean, Star Wars should be the top answer, Star Wars. Right. I mean, lasers are used for tons and tons and tons of different things. And I think that the development of, you know, seeing how far we can go or developing the technology further just makes sense, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, okay, they fired this laser and it's got enough power to run a microwave for two seconds or whatever. Did they actually... Destroy? Has it got the power to destroy something? I mean, so I wanted to know what did they yeah, break? Yeah, like, well, apparently there is. Um, a, a, all the articles I'm, I'm reading the second article here. Everyone keeps saying supposedly fired. There's apparently there's no video or any proof that they actually fired this thing. Uh, naughty, naughty Japanese. They're liars, liars. Yeah. Who saw? I mean, I don't think they would. Well, who knows what people lie about? <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't know because they lied. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I, I can't find anything to say. Forget I asked about this laser, okay? <laughs> this is the dumbest story we've ever had. <laughs> you know what's not fancy? This laser. No. Um, Speaking of fancy. <laughs> yeah, mirrors yeah. edge. I like mirror, mirrors are fancy. because I mean them. Lasers bounce off of mirrors. Oh! Mm. We should have used that for the transition. Come on, guys. Gosh, That wouldn't have been yeah. as fancy. Um, yeah, the Mirror's Edge Catalyst gameplay footage was released recently, and it looks quite nice. We've got we've got faith back again, um, so which is good. It's not a so big wow. giveaway on the story. Uh, obviously, it's you know you got to go and get something, and things happen, and you have to get attacked by things, and it's pretty much similar to the original from what it looks like. But the look is interesting me. It's not as clean as the first one. Yeah. Uh, it's it's like they they it, it it kind of reminds me of a bit of like sort of what Half Life Three might look like. It kind of looks a bit like Deus Exy. Um, it's not got that beautiful, crisp, clean look that the original one had, which I'm slightly disappointed. It looks good. Yeah, I'm seeing she's running around, and there's like marks from where other people's feet have been on walls and stuff might it not just be that it's at night though do they show any daytime scenes because whenever she goes into the light everything starts to look really like a operating room again (laughs) very white shiny and bright what what is nice is there seems to be a lot more opportunities of things to grapple and, and climb on 
Um, it's not just drain pipes and ledges. There's a lot of uh, furniture and, and things, sort of arty stuff and grills and, and again, pipes, sorry, horizontal pipes and things like that, which is obviously going to open up the levels a lot more. And hopefully there's going to be more than one route through things, which will be nice. Yeah, it looks a lot more open world than it has before. Yeah, it was quite guided before, wasn't it? Which was nice if you wanted to try and do a speed run because you, you kind of wanted to know where to go with the, the red things to jump on and stuff. But I haven't seen any of those red things, that has to be said. I don't know right. if that's an option you can turn on and off. But I saw some weird blobby floaty thing that Sorry. looked dumb as heck, <laughs> to be to be honest. Um, yeah, yeah, when she the, goes inside, everything does look really crisp. Yeah, yeah, okay, let's get a bit, a bit, but still, the floors are still sort of scrabby and, and yeah. stuff. Yeah, but uh, yeah, no, it, it, more colors as well. I don't yeah, know. it just it just didn't strike me as beautiful as the first one was, but that's probably just personal taste. Well, I'm I'm really liking. Yeah, I can't cool. wait. Cannot wait. Uh, February next year, apparently. Oh, that's too long. Hello. Look at our games in February. It's also going to be during the um, release of a lot of the VR stuff. So now mm. you can do some parkour and spray oh, yeah. vomit in six different directions. <laughs> <laughs> this was clearly played on a on a console. You can tell by yeah, the you way. can by but movement. The, Why is Splinter yeah, Cell like, in it? Rotating. Yeah. Um, it was, exactly. Oh, there's like obvious. It's like obviously a Splinter Cell ripoff, of like the three eye. Splinter Cell, oh. dude. They didn't come up with that. That's a common. That's a common design. Co is not moving on my screen anymore. He's just. Stuck. Oh, he's not. You are frozen. Really? Yeah. Mm. That's weird. So I can I just leave. Agree. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You like you like you like, like reading something right now? Yeah, or? it's kind of a weird face you're making. Good to know. Um. Oh, oh there you're back. Now, now you're moving again. There you oh, back. good. How oh, incredible. Oh, no. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Don't be pressing the audio button, please. Um, what the? <sighs> okay. <laughs> I'm excited about the game. Okay, let's... <laughs> okay. Before, we, before we do go, can I, can I quickly yeah. talk about the uh, Hitchbot thing? Yeah. Um, did, did you guys hear about that? So basically, there's a social experiment that like, some Canadians did where they got a robot. It is basically a tin can with some floppy, rubbery arms, and and it's got a nice digital face, and he sort of says a few chatty words if you sort of talk to it, and, and it's very basic. But the idea was it wants to get from one side of the country to the other, and they just dumped it down and let people pick it up, stick it in their car, drive them a bit, drop it off. It's got little instructions on the back. It's basically that. Um, and it went all the way across uh, Canada... Uh, and then they took it to Germany. They went all the way across Germany. They took it to Holland. They went all the way across Holland. And they took it to the States. And it got to Philadelphia from New York or something. And then got destroyed by somebody. <laughs> well, it's the main streets of Philadelphia. Somebody <laughs> kicked it in. It kicks it to yeah. its place. Yeah, Will Smith. Smith. I would have been so Good afraid night. if I was in Philadelphia. Wouldn't getting yeah. to Philadelphia, though, be about the equivalent journey to all those others? All the, well, way not, all, all, way, all the way across all the way across Canada, but yeah, not Canada. from wherever to Philly in the United States is probably about the same. It started in Boston. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well, that's not very far then. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> it was like two states or something. Was right. Uh, yeah. But it's a, it's a real shame um, because it. I don't know. Draw is your own conclusion. Real shame. What's what's lost here? A, a, a little adorable robot. The little okay. kid. America's oh, wow. reputation. Yeah. yeah, this is why you can't have nice things. Uh, no, this is a fucking life lesson. Don't hitchhike in America. You will die. <laughs> <laughs> you look at your face back. Especially in Philadelphia. By somebody in Philadelphia. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, anyway. Yeah. It really stinks. It really stinks. It probably did stink after all those fucking travel. <laughs> so cleaned it up. It cleans up nice. <laughs> Who was cleaning this little guy? Maybe they were just trying to clean him in Philadelphia. They were spraying him down with a hose. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. If I found this thing, I would like take it to a shed in the middle of the woods 
and like video camera me with like taking an axe <laughs> <or something. laughs> post it online. You want to see Hitchbot alive again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, of course, probably all the authorities on you right now. <laughs> Uh, that's funny mm. well we have to thank our sponsor our fantastic sponsor audible.com audible.com is a leading provider of audiobooks with more uh, with over 180,000 downloadable titles across all types of literature including fiction nonfiction, and periodicals um, I have I just went on a I had a few credits built up and I went on an audible shopping spree which is great because say again La di da. It's me. really cool because, like, my credits. Uh, I think I have the gold plan, and so the credits. Whenever I'm looking at the books, it's like, oh, saving money here, saving money here. Uh, I got like Cryptonomicon, which is by Neil uh, Stevenson. And that's like a forty dollar book that I got for a credit, Dude, which was book fantastic. is so huge. Yeah, You're listening to that thing for like. Guess how long the length of it is? It says it tells you in time. <laughs> um, does it tell you in hours? Yeah, yeah, but hours like- and minutes. 60 hours. It's it's less. 42 hours and 53 wow. minutes. So basically 43 hours. That's so crazy. 43 hours. See, you could get through. You thought it was going to take 60 hours to get through that book. It's good. It only take you 42 hours. See? <laughs> He's uh, a slow listener. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah I, I play it on half speed. Half speed. There you go. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I'm, I'm look, I, I also read. Oh God, who, it was another Neil Stevenson book. Snow Crash and Anathem. Anathem is 32 hours. So both of those books I got through with Audible. Um, So anyway, it's a great service that you can listen to books while you're doing chores around the house, while you're in traffic. It is just absolutely fantastic. So we want you to try it out. And to kind of give you an incentive to try it out, guess what? You get a free book. You can sign up, uh, get your free book, uh, try out the service. And you can cancel, and you get to, you get to keep the book. It's awesome. Audiblepodcast.com. Well, don't, don't, don't cancel. Don't, but don't. I don't think anyone's gonna want to cancel. Audible.com. Even Podcast. <laughs> Audiblepodcast.com slash mindcrack. That's audiblepodcast.com slash mindcrack to test out the service. And, don't uh, even have to be able to read. Someone can do it for you. Yeah, seriously. Really you just sad. look at the covers and just say, "I want that book." Oh, so you're that they judge the book by the cover. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's okay. what I'm suggesting right now. <laughs> um, thanks so much, Audible, for your support of the Minecraft podcast. Time to move on to Ask Crack. All right. First question is from Defiance Unstable, and he says, Hey, crackers and possible guest, if you were a vegetable, what vegetable would you be and why? Also, how would you like to be eaten, cooked, decomposed? Also, Why? Thanks for taking the time to answer my bizarre question. I love you. Heart, keep up the great or the good work. <laughs> I, I, like, I, I like the fact that he's asked us if we were a vegetable and, and not you are. Well, I don't yeah, I'm not a vegetable. I'm not. I'm not a yeah, fucking no, mom. That's everyone's answer. Done. I'm a tomato. You don't even know what I am. <laughs> <laughs> is it a fruit or is it a vegetable? Who knows? Yeah, that's, that was the joke. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant... <laughs> Oh, so you're tomato, so I know you're a tomato and didn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> well, a lot of people confuse tomatoes about other fruits or vegetables. Ah, uh, cucumber. Is Why? that because you want to end up in a... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you must be up some guy's ass. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Is that how you want to decompose? <laughs> oh, God, that's the worst idea. Sliced, <laughs> sliced in the and placed on somebody's eyes. <laughs> Why vegetables? If it was like candy, I'd be all over this question. Maybe you're a banana. Candy. I don't know. I don't know, where, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going with. Yeah, either. Either. What, what, what are you implying here? It's not a vegetable either. Isn't are, you, vegetable. are you going to meet me over there later, are you, Chad? <laughs> I'd be, uh, I'm trying to think of the, mo- the vegetable I eat the most. It'd probably be a tomato. I mean, I'd, I'd want to be prepared. It's a fruit. Prepared into, uh, is it? I'd be prepared into ketchup. I'm just going to answer that. And, <laughs> I don't care that it's fruit. I don't care. <laughs> Maybe carrots. I like carrots and ranch. Is that because your head's so, hair so Right. Orange. Carroty? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You got a carrot top. Brian here. We have to go with broccoli. 
Why? How, how would you so be prepared? Get stuck in everyone's teeth. Oh gosh. I would be prepared. <laughs> look away. Like, what are, you, what are you looking away from? I'm just like that's. Just... <laughs> I would be prepared in the traditional Chinese fashion with uh, beef. With beef, beef and broccoli. <laughs> I want to be asparagus. That's a good. Idea. <laughs> yeah. Because you like to smell. smell. You can sometimes smell like piss, and sometimes. Yeah. Or make piss smell like me. <laughs> you can just stink like me. Yep. And I want to be wrapped in bacon or prosciutto. Prosciutto. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like uh, spinach. I'm changing my mind because mine was a fruit. <laughs> spinach. Is that because Popeye and you want to be big and strong? I'd like, I love spinach. I'd have a spinach salad every day if I could. I'd be prepared in a but salad. You can. You can do that. You're an adult and living in a big city, Chad. The U.S. government. You do that, you, you're like the U.S. Garrett. government's gotten too big, man. Too big. <laughs> they're, they're holding you back. They're holding me back. Not of spinach. Yeah. <laughs> what did Cole want to be? I forgot. I refuse to answer. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to. Are you like a vegetableist? I don't. I'm not sharing any of my thoughts on this topic. <laughs> Every too vegetable is too phallic. Um, okay. <laughs> Next question, I guess. What would your utopia be like? Describe a society that you wish you lived where everything was just as you want. And that's from Dagnell underscore. I have to say, I quite like the sort of uh, R&R planets that they get on Star Trek, especially sort of like Next Gen and the original Star Trek, where you've got loads of very happy people playing sort of volleyball and, and the, the weather's nice and you know, quite scantily clad, and that looks quite pleasant. That reminds me of, like mental institutions. That's how I see them. <laughs> yeah, I... everyone's like wearing white, playing volleyball. Everyone's pretty fucking happy. They're all drug. <laughs> What's your point? <laughs> <laughs> it's a badge, okay. I want to live in Veggie Tales, where I'm the asparagus and Chad's the spinach. <laughs> all right, Barbara wanna... manatee. That was a VeggieTales song. Oh, You're not I, a I, real VeggieTales uh, fan, boy. <laughs> You're a big fan, eh? <laughs> yeah, huge fan. Um, I don't know what my utopia would be. Probably the future. I don't know what it is. But... <laughs> <laughs> I just go with R.O. The okay? Yeah. Anything's better than this. All of it. <laughs> It's like it's like in the '80s when you go to those museums. Look at the world of the 2000s. Yeah, uh. yeah. <laughs> like, I, like I just want I want virtual reality. I want the Matrix. That's my utopia. Same capitalism. Same like I, I was I was gonna make a joke about like same famine. You know, all that still exists. <laughs> I just want the Matrix just for me. Just put me into a computer and I can work Just for me, shit. you know. <laughs> can't solve the world's problems. I just want the Matrix for me. <laughs> um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Cool. Moving on. No, uh, wait. We didn't hear about Coach Utopia. I'm, I'm, I refuse to answer. <laughs> Move on. <laughs> um, I want okay. the inverse of Chad's. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's I want to be in the famine. I think you know. You're the oppressed. You're you're so, the ninety nine percent. Basically, four chan brought to life. Oh God, that's horrible. <laughs> Anarchy. Mm-hmm. Nebers, mm-hmm. did we hear yours? I I just want a holodeck. That's it. I'm oh, I'm all with you. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Um, hello, pod crackers and guests. I've noticed that a lot of you guys have many fun moments playing games while intoxicated. My question is, what type of drunkard are you? Are you full of glee and smiling with your friends? Maybe you are more emotionally driven. Maybe you are a, an emotionally driven one. Either way, thanks for answering my question and keep up the great work. Praise Lord Badge from YBOT. I'm a happy drunk. Yeah. Me too. Super happy. I'm pretty happy, but I can get blunt real fast. I liked you in <laughs> South whenever we went to a Whataburger, and then you came back and you just lied on the floor for a while, and then you just yes. got up and ran away. Great. 
Well, I, said, I said the other day, I, I love Drunk Seth. He, he was yeah. Like, drunk yeah. Seth is amazing. Yeah. Uh, Who did I'm, not I'm let very... me record Drunk Seth? Man. No, I start, I don't know. I didn't know what was going on. I turned around and Chad's got the camera out and like Seth and they're talking. I'm like, no, stop yeah. right now. Shut it off. Delete it. Yeah. Like, I, I thought you were going to upload it. And I knew Seth would not be okay with that. No, no. Over. No, Let's I just wanted to have have the the the, right. the token Seth drunk video that we all laugh about, but no one ever sees. Yeah. <laughs> right. I'll hold it over his head whenever. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> whenever I was like, I'll release that video, Seth, if uh, you don't. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Get me a free Tesla. Right. I felt like whenever he was uh, he was sober, he wouldn't have wanted it. So I just no. thought, Let's stop it. <laughs> Uncle Goo. Um, <laughs> I'm I'm a very I'm a very tired drunk. I get floppy. I get all like <laughs> floppy. <laughs> I've yeah, never had that problem, but the general yeah, head gets too heavy. <laughs> I, th- I think I get I get real cocky and um uh Yes. Yeah. I get I, very I, athletic. Do you? <laughs> Were you drunk at PAX East when we were outside with the the streamers? Um, no, I think I was sober for that. <laughs> Dancing in the moonlight with the streamer. I'm I'm just a glorious dancer. What can I say? <laughs> you tiny dog. I'm tra- yeah, I'm trying to think. There's of a video drunk. of Nebris like 2012 nope. or something. That he's really drunk. He goes cave in. It's really good. I God, what do you I, call yourself? I was really proud of myself because I was really drunk and I like, I just quick scoped a bat that was flying around and <laughs> that was like my proudest moment with a bow. Oh, you kept calling yourself Cray. That's what it was. Well, that, that's, sort of, that's my name. Like on every login that I've ever had. First yeah. initial last name. Like I want to do more stuff where we record super drunk. But I always feel guilty because I know that I can handle, like, I know my limits and I know I'm being safe, but I don't want to, like, glorify that too much. Like, hey, ki- hey, children, <laughs> get drunk. That's when you have the most fun. <laughs> oh, drugs, like, right. Being um, drunk is the best. I there's found. Some you do, it at, yeah. do, you, do you find there are some things you do better? I found that I'm much, much better at darts when I am drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that's just altered memory from the night before? Like, man, I was so that's fucking what I think. Good at Man, I'm better at picking really, up chicks when I'm drunk. You're bored. You're reading really, like the <laughs> side it. Some guy walking past with a really bad birthmark. Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, I, I've, uh, yeah, I, no, I've, I've, I've won. And I've, you know, the next day, people have said, you know, you beat us and, and stuff. But I can't aim for shit when I'm. I mean, I know my social anxiety basically just goes away. Right. Uh, yeah, that's that's alcohol. Which is I mean, yeah. Why, like, that's like, normal for everybody, right? Yeah. Like I think that's why Seth's great when he's drunk because he's not analyzing everything he says before he says it. He just speaks instead of thinks. Right. And that's what happens to most people. I feel as if normally you're analyzing yourself first and then presenting that self, whereas when you're oh. drunk, you're just presenting yourself. Right. And that's the whole core issue with drinking, right? Basically, right. Yeah. If you're not like a drama type person or whatever, if you just there to have fun and everything's cool, then generally it's pretty cool and everybody just kind of loses some of their inhibitions and everything's funny. But that's why then you also have that scenario of the the drama girl or the drama guy got drunk and then all sorts of, you just hear like madness yeah. the next day, yeah. relationships destroyed, jobs were lost. <laughs> it's all kinds of shit. Holes in the wall now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. it goes, it, like it... I don't know how like make it magnifies that shit in whichever direction you were naturally already headed. I had this friend Alk that used to play on the Minecraft server, and he was he's I can't I love to be around him, but when he drinks, he turns into a complete fucking asshole. And I know I've known a few people like that. Like there's some people that just you don't want to be around them when they drink because they become like this total fucking prick. So I think that 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 can happen to me if I get in that mood. But yeah, I'd be around you like that. Yeah, but see, like, that's the thing. It's like whenever I'm around friends, like, whenever I'm around friends, I, it never happens. You hear it whenever he laughs. It's always <laughs> <right>. uh, surface. <laughs> 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 um, because I've felt that, like, I've woken up and I've been like, God, I'm sorry. I was a jerk. 
<laughs> I'm really sorry. Um, but yeah, it's never happened around friends. Anyway, moving on. Badge. Oh, you have to wake me up again, dude. <laughs> Someone's drunk. <laughs> I've been drinking too much. He's floppy. So, oh, um, if you could, uh, this is from a la- lady uh, Caprinet. Well, maybe it's Caprinet. Maybe it's French. Um, if you could have a character of any kind of book, fantasy, sci-fi, etc., what kind of character would it be and why? You could have a character in any kind of book, not be a character. Really. But I think it's a romance novel. What do you mean, like have a character? I think it's. I think it's if you you... invest in a character and hope that it has a good time in the book. (laughs) It's like uh, like a Tamagotchi or (laughs) (laughs) Uh, type of sporting uh, league things that people do. What's it called? Uh, Fantasy sports, fantasy football. Have fantasy characters. It's fantasy character. Fantasy, fantasy. Yeah. I I I have no idea where we're going with this. I'm I mean, I think I think thing. it's you. Yeah, like you're the character. What type of character would you like to be? Well, I'm going to use my first round pick on Ned Stark. I think he's going places this season. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. I think that's a Game of Thrones reference. Got it. Oh, yeah, you guys I could be mistaken. Very funny. As far as I know, he could be dead in that show. I can't keep track of who's who, so let's just go with he's probably dead. Yeah. Never yeah. just dead. Oh. <laughs> oh. Um. You have to decide so many things. You got to pick the genre. Yeah, I'm just gonna be a, a a farm worker and a romance novel. <laughs> I could go what? anywhere. I I I want to be able to fly. I think possibly <laughs> on, a dra- on, a, on a dragon. That would be cool. Well, the thing is, if you can't fly and you're just using the dragon to fly, bad things can happen to you. You got to hold on. Not, Dude, yeah, how to not, train your dragon? Everything worked out fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah but what if you're in Game of Thrones? Disney fight, motherfucker. You might get eight. Uh, I'm gonna reuse my answer. Future, just the future. Hot <laughs> <laughs> Rogers. Future. I would think. I think I'd be a, a vegetable in Veggie Tales. Yeah, I'd like to be spinach in the future. <laughs> oh man. I would. I think uh, maybe I'd want to have a character in a um, medical textbook. Example: Doctor. <laughs> you're just, you're spy. Page, spy like, novel. <laughs> what about, what about the, like, a, like, a, like a stock photo? Basically, is what right, you want. Yeah. <laughs> what about the guy in Blue Sex? With, uh, the hairy bloke. Sure. Yeah. Done. <laughs> the options are wide open on that. It's not the only thing. What the heck? <laughs> Go on, Nibris, kill it. All right. This uh, question is brought to you by Pluvio Mist. Pluvio Mist, extra refreshing. <laughs> uh, hey, Minecrackers, do you shave or trim your armpit hair? Oh, man. This is like that mirror dry thing. <laughs> yeah, we're well, all I'm back. back <laughs> all I mean, I don't think we can just say what well, we know what we're going to do. We'll never have to do that. Yeah. Wait, it doesn't get rid of hair. We're gonna shave our it glands. It right off. I'm sure. I, I just, I just braid it. it. But who cares about the hair if you don't have the glands, right? It's true. So well, you, you can have it's like, just like a un- jungle, and growth. you're like, it smells fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> you want to smell, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> I know it looks disgusting, but give it a sniff. <laughs> Start like getting it braided and stuff. Go with right. different styles. Right. <laughs> Uh, do, is it is it common for any men? Like I don't I don't I don't think any of us are the kind of men that uh, focus if that. I, much if I had to bet, I'd say I, I think Chad's the likeliest. <laughs> yeah, the like. <laughs> right. So do you trim? That's what I'm basically I'm looking at you, Chad. You so you do trim your underarm hair? Yep. Does it not get itchy? <laughs> trim. No, if you trim it, you, you don't shave so, it. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. But like, how, look at this now. You, like how low do you trim? Uh, I don't know. That one. How yeah. long does it grow? Not. I mean, it can't, <laughs> what do you mean? Armpit hair grows like super long. No, my arm hair. Yeah, it really doesn't. I have I random. Like, some arm hair is that long. It. You're saying that's how long you trim it. Well, then I just keep it normal. <laughs> just keep it. I mean, it's if also I should grow, like wait out here. If I don't get it, I don't get it. Yeah. Yeah. It's I'm like, not even aware that mine grows. Like I've never trimmed it in my life, and I don't have like 
are right. Yeah, it's like, the side. How does it? See, I've always like, wondered that. How does it know? Like, all right, I'm done. This is my leg. Right. Like, like, like your arm, you can't braid your arm that's, here. That's true. Right. How does it know? I don't know. It's just, it's just genetics. It just yeah, it grows to a certain length, and then the it doesn't. But like, if you cut it, it would grow back to that certain length. How the fuck does it know? Oh, I'm that length now. I'm cool. Because uh, there's something in the gene that says this is a hair. This is this long. And that's no, that's no, why, no. yeah. These arm hairs, you say, it, it, it knows it's an arm hair, and arm hair is genetically coded to be, you know, half an inch long. Well, what the fuck went wrong right here? Well, <laughs> <laughs> well I, I mean, everything was fine like three years ago. What I think actually happened, and this is only based off of like when I used to dye my hair totally, and I would see the roots come in. There was tons of hair, like tons of hair that was still a hundred percent red. Which told me that those hairs had died and were not growing anymore. And whenever you look at someone who's grown out their hair for like forever, it's all like not the same length. And that tells that I think that either the hair has fallen out or a lot of the hairs have just stopped growing and they're waiting to fall out and then they'll probably start up again. So that's how I bet that it it does the the length is it knows I'm going to grow for six months and then stop. And then the, I'll just keep on holding on to this hair. And then once it falls out, it goes, okay, another six months and stop. And that's that's how you get a length well, at a certain point. It, it can't use time as a mechanism to keep track of length because when you trim it, it still goes back to the... Right. Like, hey, you're not pulling the ball up out. How the fuck does it know it's been cut? Hair is a mystery. 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 Maybe it's it's... I don't know. Maybe it's something that we, if you're if you're pushing like a stack of things, you push, <laughs> you push, a, you push another one. No, no, come here. no. I, uh, like, stay away. There's a podcast. Don't come near me. No, no, come in with a toothbrush in your mouth. I'll squirt right. you. I'll squirt you. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Yeah, maybe it's something to do with the force of pushing, and it gets a certain length, and it's like I can't push anymore. So I have a feeling this is like a known. Obvious. Yeah, well, I'm sure um, this shit out. I just, I, you know, I think this is where the meat of the podcast really is, though. Is it a whole bunch of idiots just trying to figure out normal day stuff? Just trying to work yeah. out, like if, if everyone else was dead and we right. had to relearn. <laughs> we're trying, okay, now today's subject: Why does arm hair <laughs> exactly. stop grow? All right, so running theories: It's uh, too heavy. We'll it, buy just some Reddit tomorrow. Because, <laughs> like, if you could work it out, then you could, like, because, like, if my facial hair would just stay this length, that'd be cool with that. So why don't – my face needs to think it's an arm from now on. I'm sure there's a pill that'll happen in the future, <laughs> which is why – They changed all of this to arm. It's like a shot or something for that, right? If we're talking right. about biological things, my, uh, my cat Dave had uh, diabetes. She got diabetes, and they started injecting her with insulin. Wait, you named a and... girl cat Dave? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Come on, move, man. Get, you move gave on. Sorry. Dave diabetes. Um, she got the, she got she got diabetes. You gave and then her how much chocolate? She then became non-diabetic, and then she, she became diabetic again, and then she became non-diabetic again. So um, she has so type cats, two. Cats can become diabetic and then. Not be diabetic. So I don't think why just think... like just like humans. Really? Do that. That's weird. Yeah, yeah, there's type one yeah. diabetes well, and type two diabetes. Type two is is treatable, but it's not. It doesn't cure, is it? You just uh... the thing is, is if you if you get your like glucose level under a certain amount, like your blood sugar level, then the, all the symptoms of diabetes just go. Yeah, away. but it, like, it it doesn't go. See, well, it, it's, it's not a... controllable, isn't it? No, but it does though. I mean, like it it's it's one of those things where there's diabetes that's unfixable. That's true. Yeah. Where you you're done. Your organ's broken. You can't fix this. But there's also diabetes that is you have it because of factors. You've caused it. If you eliminate yeah. those factors, you don't have it anymore. It's like a dislocated shoulder. Like when it's dislocated, it's it's not. <laughs> yeah, but good. That, that you can not pop it back type. in, <laughs> all the symptoms go away. But if you pop it out again, those symptoms come back. Exactly. If you, if you have that type of disease and and you eat more chocolate, then you'll get those symptoms back. Your arm's going to pop out. The, the, some no, of, yeah. no, not some of it doesn't. Your body can regulate. Like you were, you're overweight. And your body's not regulating your sugar correctly. Yeah. But just eating a bunch of chocolate's not gonna. Your body will be able to regulate that sugar once you've corrected the symptoms or the things that were causing the type two diabetes. Wait, dude, how does our bodies regulate keeping our arm in our shoulder? 
<laughs> it's a perfect analogy. How, how, how does you make a real shirt life shirt. fit to this analogy? Your shirt right now, your arms will fall off. Wait, if how, I take how, how does, off, is my, my arm's going to pop off? It's going to fall off. How do you all know how long to be as well? <laughs> so WebMD is here. It says the term is reversible. It is used when people can go off okay, medication fair. but it's still must engage in life jobs. Yeah, so it's a reversible. That's a very technical does it, does term. Does it say it's cancer as well because it is WebMD? Does it talk oh, about right. why our arm hair grows only so far? Let's search. Does it uh, say if badge is terminal? <laughs> uh, what will you even search for? Why does arm hair stop growing? <laughs> Armpit hair. All hair. How does hair know what it's doing? Hair, um, why you do. Why you do. Let's search that. Hair, why you do. The worst, the 10 worst things you can do to your hair. That's close like, enough. Like Justin Bieber. Um, Isn't the worst thing you can do to your hair basically cut it? The picture is just this woman holding a, uh, um, a hair blower way out here. It's like, a, it reminds me of like these salad pictures for some reason. She's like, <laughs> so happy to be blowing yeah. her hair. Do you want me to, you want me to read this? Uh, why does the hair on your arms stay short while the hair on your head can grow very long? This is a How Stuff Works article. No, Ooh. answer this instead. If you shave your arm hair, does it grow back <laughs> thicker or the same? Thicker. Think so? Have, have you ever shaved your butt hair? <laughs> Are you asking me? <laughs> oh, I'm sure, chat. Not specifically. Wait, you guys don't? <laughs> uh, I believe if you do that once, you have to keep doing it. Otherwise, I imagine you just fist bumped her. Like our- the reason I think right, so is, is I had in the ass. In the ass? Is that I what you just the said? conversation? I got this. <laughs> <laughs> fist bump her in the ass, and then her arm hair grew no, thicker. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, we lost him. <laughs> Me. Okay. I'm reading about arm hairs. Okay, oh, you, will you, I have I have enough information for the whole class. If you would like me to share, yeah, yeah sh- thanks share for watching, everybody. Uh, we'll see you next <laughs> each hair on your body uh, grows in its own individual hair follicle. Inside the follicle, new hair cells form at the root of the hair shaft, and each cell, as each cell forms, they push out older cells. Uh, blah blah blah. Basically, how hair is done. Uh, a follicle oh. will produce new cells for a certain time period of. A certain period of time depending on where it is located on your body. This period is called the growth phase. Then it will stop for a period of time or the reset phase and then restart to grow the growth in the growth phase. When the hair follicle enters the reset phase, the hair shaft breaks so that the existing hair falls out and the new hair takes its place. Therefore, the length of time that the hair is able to spend growing during the growth phase controls the maximum length of the hair. Oh, so all your arm hair is just constantly in a state of growth, fall out, grow again? Yep. And that's so what we're I'm living saying. in a world of people's arm hairs. That's why when you cut it, it'll grow back. It'll, it may grow out again, but it won't, um, it won't get to its maximum length. It'll fall out before then. Based off of what Chad's saying. Right. Mm. Right. Mm. Interesting. So it'll take longer for it to grow to maximum now length. We know. Right. It have to it have to go through two cycles basically to do that. Right. Right. And with that, the more you learn, uh, the podcast is over. Thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to subscribe on iTunes or YouTube, head on over to mindcracklp.com slash podcast. There are links there. So you don't have to do any heavy searching. Also, if you want to suggest questions for the podcast, mindcracklp.com slash podcast is the place to go. There's a form there. Fill out your question. And you, too, may be on the podcast by one of us trying to read your question and whatnot. (laughs) Uh, That's it for this episode of the Minecraft Podcast. Thanks so much for hanging out. And we'll see you next time. Bye. 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 Cucumber. Shit.